Early morning at Chateau Deblingham. This area was home to military bases during the First World War. It's now a base for young people to see firsthand what happened a few miles away at the front line. You do get a great feel of how many people lost their lives. I mean, there are pictures of all these people there. It's terrible. When you're in a classroom looking at it in a book, you're not kind of really there, so you don't really understand exactly how they felt. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky the lark, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. The poem that was written in this bunker here on an April day in 1915 by John McRae would have been known to everybody. Unless you've been here, it's difficult to imagine how this part of Belgium has been scarred and shaped by the battles of the First World War. We're here at the moment uh, on what over 90 years ago was the very front line. And now thousands of children every year are coming here to learn and experience education with NST. From my perspective, to actually plan your learning outcomes within the classroom and embed that there, you know, that means that when the kids get here, you know, what a great opportunity you've got to bring that learning to life and to see kids respond to that. We cater for a lot of curriculum areas. We cater for arts, um, media, English and drama, geography, MFL, um, history. We do music tours, so, uh, but also we do specialist tours. Here we are at Eblingham Cemetery and every cemetery um, has one of these. Um, Learning outside the classroom is a leading element of the government's education agenda and NST piloted their new quality badge. Teachers, I mean, they've got a, a big job to do anyway, just looking after that group of children. So we've got to make it as easy as possible uh, to can. We've got to enable them to be able to do this thing, um, particularly with safety. One of the good things about the new government's quality badge is it makes it easy for them to find a good operator. Now that's a challenge for us because we pioneered this and we feel very proud about that and we've got to build on from that so that more and more people can get out and learn you know, outside the class, experience it, feel it, touch it. I've gone with NST for uh, quite a few years now and simply because it is it makes it so easy for me. Obviously safety is going to be at the front of our minds whatever we do and also the guides are so very knowledgeable. I mean Robert Watson is fantastic. I can give a broad overview of the, the First World War but the detailed knowledge which he, he has is invaluable. So whether visiting sites or back at base this is helping hundreds of schools to create a perfect learning environment. The children, they learn so much. They're here for a week, they're here for three days. They make lots of changes. They can learn so much as well when they go and visit the battlefields. I think a lot of them, they don't really realise quite the severity of it. And they'll go to the battlefields and they will, it will just bring it home to them. I think it's incredibly good because most history lessons you just learn in the classroom and read from textbooks. But here you can actually get a feel of what they felt like. I think you get more out of it when you come on a trip because you actually see what happened. Well, I know I have some relatives died out there somewhere, but I don't know where. The, the scale on which people died and fought, it blows your mind. These pupils and many others would perhaps never have been able to appreciate what happened here unless they came with NST. And this history lesson will be one they remember for a very long time.